Hi everyone and welcome to week 8 of our Chula Pink Butterfly 2nd Edition Sew Along hosted by Pat Sloan at her website ilovetomakequilts.com This is the last week that we have log cabins to do and then we'll move on to our half square triangles and then a whole heap of curved piecing. Are you looking forward to that? I know I am. Anyway, come with me and I'll show you how to do it. Here are the blocks we're making this week folks and this week we do need to make a total of 16. We have 6 to make in our purple colourway and then 2 each in our remaining 5 colourways giving us the total of 16 for the week. The fabrics that we need this week starting from the top left in this picture here is Moonflower which is the dark purple solid, Foxglove which is our purple and pink pom-pom, Thistle which is from our Hexies, Stargazer which is the dark pink solid, Snapdragon in the Wildflower, Carnelian which is the dark red solid, Snapdragon again this in time being the dark orange solid, then we have Begonia which is our orange and white pom-pom, then we have Amber in our mineral followed by Sunshine from the Hexes, Daisy from the Wildflower, Pear which is the greeny yellow coloured solid. Then we move on to Chameleon, which is our green and yellow hexi. We then have Aquamarine from the mineral, Legendary and Iris, which is the dark green and the light blue solids. Deep Sea from the hexi. Sapphire, the darker of the two blues from the mineral. And finally, Delphinian from the wildflower. You'll see on the design board in front of me here that I have laid out all of our colour combinations to make all 16 of our blocks. But don't worry, in this week's video I'll only be cha chain piecing the 6 from the purple colourway. You'll also see on the bottom left hand corner of my board that I have 3 more of the squares cut out to make our half square triangles and these are the last 3 fabrics that we need to make sure that we have them all made. As in all previous weeks with the half log cabin style blocks that we've been making, we will start by sewing our two small squares together, pressing that open in this video. Sometimes I do press to the side, yes, and I know that the pattern says to press open. I'll deal with the pressing if it becomes an issue at that point in time. So as I said, we'll begin by sewing our two small squares together, pressing our seams open placing it back in our layout here and the arrangement to ensure we're picking up the correct next piece. And the pattern that has been getting followed in this instance is once these two squares are sewn together, we'll then do the piece on the bottom, we'll sit them back over and we'll do the piece to the left hand side and repeat until all of our logs have been sewn on. Once again, I will interject verbally very minimally throughout this video. It's a simple process of just watching me sew.
Just while you're watching me construct this block folks, here's your reminder to please like my video, share it with a friend, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, but most importantly, give that little bell icon a tickle so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos. With all six of our purple colorway now chain pieced, pressed and ready to go, we just need to move on to making our other 10 from the other colorways. Here they are here and you can chain piece these two at a time and with the magic of television, ah, we are done. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video again this week. It is a bit different, not talking quite so much and I hope you do watch till the end. Let me know in the comments below that you have. As always folks, thanks for joining me week after week for these block tutorials. If you haven't done so already, please consider liking my video, sharing it with a friend, hitting that little subscribe button, but most importantly, clicking the little bell icon so you'll be notified of all my future updates. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.